Uh, hello everybody. Uh, this is additional information about uh, uh, previous video class. Uh, how to conduct um, uh, uh, research, economical research for different uh, data sets. And you see on internet you will find you can find a lot of in, uh, um, economical information. And practically all this data it's possible to download into time solution somehow. Uh, and um, in this video class I would like to show you how to. Um, download the data uh, from uh, this website, Sin uh, Singapore Statistic. One user sent uh, this website and he wants uh, to um, download the uh, data from this website and uh, conduct a uh, Vistami solution um, analysis for this data. So I will show you how to do that, how to download this data into Vistami solution and also I will conduct a kind of a uh, case study, very short case study, cyclical stat uh, case study. So, I like this data set. Uh, this is business expectation for different uh, sectors of economic. Uh, so, now I will download this data into Excel. Click here and wait a bit. It uh, now website forms Excel file and you will find this Excel here. Just a sec. Uh -huh. uh, this is Excel file. Uh, I, I open this website, uh, this Excel file, and let's look at this. Uh, at that, you see, this is information. This is uh, quarterly data, uh, 2022 uh, third quarter, second quarter, and so on. And this is a business expectation for different uh, segments of economic. And you see, the problem is uh, this is uh, um, uh, table has uh, horizontal. Uh, structure because you see the dates are located here and we need to um, flip it uh, to make it uh, vertical. You see in uh, matrix calculations uh, there is a special, uh, a special procedure they call it a transpose. A transpose uh, this is uh, when they change in matrix uh, uh, rows and uh, columns then exchange them. Uh, this procedure presents in Excel and I will show you how to do it. Uh, you see, just uh, type here, just choose here um, uh, some cell and type here transpose. Aha, uh -huh, it has found. Uh, this is, and here we need to put, uh, put the array, uh, the uh, matrix that we plan to uh, make a transpose operation. Uh, you see, uh, do it standard way, just uh, uh, highlight it and uh, drag mouse cursor till end of this matrix. Uh, where's the last date data? Last date uh, 1995 and till here. Okay, you see, this is matrix. Um, matrix, click OK. And now we have, you see, we have very good uh, vertical, um, uh, vertically uh, located uh, matrix. Uh, what I recommend to do next, uh, next? Actually, I recommend to save this file as a uh, 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 as text file, CSV. I do it this way. Uh, file, save as uh, this PC, and I will uh, put it in some folder. Let's it will be. I have folder temp. Put here temporary files. So let's it be this file. Okay. And now I close uh, this website and I open uh, this uh, file again. You see this is file with this extension CSV. Okay, open this file. Uh, Excel file. Now I remove all this. We do not, uh, we do not, oh sorry. I will remove all this information. And I leave only uh, this one. Uh, right mouse click, delete. And uh, next uh, we, will we will we have to do some changes here. You see right, right now it shows the quarter, uh, quart uh, quarters. It's, uh, uh, let's do this. I will uh, highlight this uh, uh, col uh, column and uh, Ctrl F I will do replace. Ctrl F and uh, there is a replacement. I will change uh, space. 1 Q uh, 
uh, one queue. Uh, this is first quarter. Uh, slash 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 one. Do replace all. You see, it replaced all uh, first quarter. You see, first quarter now looks this way. This is first day of January. Uh, second quarter. Second quarter. You need to put here space to Q. Uh, this is uh, first day of April. Replace. Done. Third quarter. Uh, this is uh, July. First day of July. Replace. And fourth, uh, beginning of fourth quarter. Uh, this is first day of October. And it's done. You see, now we can uh, read, uh, we can download this table into Tamit Solution. Let's do that. Uh, let's do this. I highlight this all matrix, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, put it in clipboard, Ctrl A and Ctrl C. And now I run Tamit Solution software and uh, click open this button and there is feature button here from clipboard and now we will get uh, this table here it is uh, this table uh, you see the f the first column here it corresponds i need to check what is that just sec i will check excel file uh, the first this is uh, uh, total services uh, this is uh, second uh, this is wholesale and retails let's do analysis for wholesale and retails okay I'm going to time in solution just a second, just a second. So uh, this is d d d data date, and this is um, second uh, column. This is uh, whole sales and retails. Uh, do it this way. Um, firstly, uh, uh, highlight here and choose uh, close all other items not used. Okay, you see. It's close and uh, all these records are, no, uh, are not used. Next, so once again, you need to choose here, this one, close, other, not used. Oh, sorry. Okay. And next, you see, because uh, there are negative values, sometimes expectations are negative, it's uh, uh, understandable. So uh, we, need, uh, we should not exclude this data. Should not exclude. So you, you, you need to uncheck it. Because when you do download from FRED, the program automatically understands that this is the, uh, economical data from FRED. So the negative values are pos possible. Uh, but here you need to point the program that uh, do not exclude negative values. So now we will download this data set. Click load. Here it is. Uh, let's set uh, for recast horizon horizon. Uh, let's it be 100, okay, no, 50, 50 quarters. Uh, okay, uh, we are ready for analysis. Firstly, uh, pay attention to this. Uh, the program understands uh, this uh, data set as oscillator. This is correct. And now we are ready to conduct cyclical analysis. Uh, this is oscillator, so you just click here. Uh, spectrum and uh, it shows uh, the uh, close itself. Uh, we do not need normalization this data. As at, as always, I recommend to uh, for, for fundamental data uh, to analyze, to use the Bartle Starasov algorithm. Here it is Bartle Starasov spectrum uh, to reveal permanent cycles. Bartle Starasov permanent. Uh, click here and you see what you will get. We will get this. Uh, this actually it's not good. It's not good because you see this choppy uh, chart. It means that uh, there is not enough price history to apply Bartel Starasov algorithm. So in this case, uh, I recommend to switch uh, to classical uh, permanent cycle. This is classical spectrum. Uh, this is uh, just a simple Fourier transform, and we will get. Okay, this is better. It looks better. Uh, you see, I see. Um, uh, two cycles. Uh, there is some something here. I don't know what is that. Maybe I will uh, decrease this mean cycle. We'll set mean cycle. 
uh, yeah, this is definitely 40 months cycle, 45 months. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll try. To, I don't know. Let's say uh, you see, I maybe I will start to use 5.5 .5 cycle. You see, because I know that uh, for most economical data, a 5.5 .5 cycle works. So I trust this cycle. So I will choose this cycle. Okay, look at the result. This is how. Uh, this is what this uh, cycle forecast. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I will put here uh, 40, uh, 44 months. It's close to kitchen inventory cycles. I will put this cycle here. I will keep in mind this cycle as well. Uh, uh, so, this is what we got. Actually, we can also uh, try to use... Uh, this uh, nine years, this is jugular economical cycle, but I don't know. Maybe I will not use it, this cycle. Uh, so, this is what we have. Use this model or maybe another scenario, maybe I will disable a 44-month cycle. I will disable a kitchen inventory cycle. This is first forecast, this is basic forecast, and this is extended forecast. Uh, so, that's it. Thank you.